Welcome to video 115 in series 3, and in this video I'll set up that barrel as an item. Alright, so in the imported steel barrel, I'll just grab this one right here, and uh, drop it in. Well, actually, why don't I just go to the prefab, it's already made, drop that in, and break the prefab instance, so there we go, break that. And uh, all I want is uh, the barrel itself, so I'm just going to drag it out. I'll get rid of this part here, delete the original. I don't need bulged and dented either, so I'll delete them as well. I don't need the audio source, so I'll remove that. Okay, so I'm left with the barrel mesh and the mesh renderer. Uh, now currently the uh, material is a slime barrel. I'll change that to the unity barrel here. There we go, so the appearance is a little bit different. Actually, a lot different. <laughs> and, uh, okay, now I'll add a rigid body. For the rigid body, I'll give it a mass of like a hundred. I'll add a uh, mesh collider. And for the mesh collider, uh, yep, that's the correct mesh. A barrel, now it needs to be convex, anything with a rigid body. If you have a collider on it, a mesh collider, it has to be uh, set to convex. Okay, uh, now that's that for those items. Now I need to uh, go ahead to the scripts. So go to the uh, master script. Drop on item master. Now go to the item scripts. Okay, so it's not ammunition. Don't need that. It doesn't have an animator. Don't have to worry about that. Yes, it does have a collider. So I'll just increase the size of that to one. Drag it in. Okay, so that's the collider. I don't care about the physical material. So I won't worry about that. Item name. Okay, yep. So that's a good point. Oh, why don't I give this a name? Exploding barrel. I'll just copy that. And just come down here, just apply that. Okay, so that's done. Item name, item pickup. Yes, you can pick this up. Uh, okay, item rigid bodies. Yep, it does have one. So, better set that. Drop it in. Okay, done. Uh, next, set layer. Yep. Since it can be picked up, the item throw layer is item. And the item pickup layer is weapon, just like the uh, guns. Okay, so that's uh, item set layer, item set position. Okay, so for this one, I'll put the Y at like minus 0.2 and the Z at 1.4. These are just 1.4 I put there. So these are just uh, values that I've seen just through playing around. I mean, you could change that. It doesn't have to be that. Uh, then item sounds. Uh, does it have a sound? Yes, I guess when you throw it. Uh, so the default volume should be 0.5. I'll look for the uh, jump sound since that's the one I'm using for throwing. Item tag, yes, the default tag is item. And actually why don't I set that up here while I'm at it. We'll set it to item. I just have it all set up. Okay, and the layer item. Okay, uh, item tag. Item throw, yes, you can throw it. And yes, can be thrown. Throw button name is throw. I'll double check that. Actually why don't I just check that right here. Yes, it is throw. The gun has throw on it. Uh, and then the throw force, I'll put that to 1200. It's quite heavy. And I do want it, the player to be able to throw it at a fair distance, so that's more fun. Okay, uh, I should make a folder for the prefab. And I'll call this destructible. So my destructible game objects, they'll go here. Okay, drop that in. And I guess I'll uh, I'll just try it out. So I'll hit play. Oh, whoops! I've started with it inside of the player, which is rather silly. I'll just put it over there, something like that. Okay, and just hit play. Yep, exploding barrel. Picked it up. How about I throw it at the enemy? Bang! It took him right out. So yep, it's successfully an item. That's good. Uh, no problems there. Okay, so that's it. So we've just uh, gone ahead and set it up as an item. And uh, that will, that's pretty much it for this video. So anyway, keep on moving onwards. Thanks for watching. Oh, no, hold on. Actually, I won't leave you just yet. I just realized something. I uh, see that message coming down here. Uh, this one. Let's just open that up. Let's just edit it. Okay, so it was about the particle system stopping. So there we go. Let me just comment that out. And that should be all right. And there's another one too, so there's a warning message as well. 
So let me find that. Here it is. Okay, so this one is talking about a bit of old code, and it just needs to be changed. So it needs to be changed to dot collider component. So let me just save that, run it again with these changes, make sure it's all good. So just shoot around. I think it was to do with shooting. Okay, I'll just grab this anyway, just for the heck of it. And uh, throw it at the golem. Bam. Okay, so yep, yeah, it's all good now. Uh, no more warning message and uh, no more just debug log messages that we don't need because the particle systems are getting uh, are getting stopped and removed, which is good. Uh, all right, so that's it, I guess, for uh, this video. I'll see you in the next video.